everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, today we're going to be doing a product review. Uh, I like to work in ZBrush and for that I use either a pen display or a pen tablet, right? I actually use them both depending on my setup, what I'm working on, where I'm working and so forth. Now, I did a review of a Huon pen display a while back and they decided to send this guy to me, which is the, uh, let's see, the RTP700, this guy. Uh, I think it's pronounced Inspiroi, 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 not sure. I'll put all the details on the screen. That's the one we're gonna be looking at. Uh, they did send it to me, full disclosure. Uh, they did not tell me what to say about it. So you are getting my full honest opinion. Right, so besides talking about this product, uh, the unpacking, setup and review, I'm going to talk about pen displays versus pen tablets in general and what my choices are based on, all right? So without further ado, let's dive in, let's unpack this bad boy. All right, guys, well, this is it. It's the Inspiroi uh, RTP700. Um, this is, like I mentioned, a pen tablet. It's not a pen display, it doesn't have its own screen. So you connect this, in this case via USB-C to your PC. Your hand is drawing on this pen tablet and the result is seen on your computer monitor, right? Okay, so before we open up, let's look at the specs on the back here. And what it tells me and tells you, right? is that the working space is a 279.4 by 174.6 millimeters, if I'm reading that correctly upside down, right? Uh, 5080 LPI resolution, uh, very uh, high level of pen sensitivity, which is cool, 8192, yeah. Uh, tilt, which is cool, uh, if you are into that kind of thing, uh, I am personally. And then we have the USB uh, uh, link up. Okay, so what's in the box? The tablet itself, the pen, extra nibs, a pen holder. Not sure what that is. I assume that's a USB-C uh, adapter, uh, a cable and a booklet. Okay, let's open this guy up and see what we got. I'm just gonna get my trusted knife here. For those of you who don't know, I'm heavily into survival bushcraft and whatnot, so I always have this with me. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to flip this around. And let's open this up. Alright, so what's kind of cool is there's a foam lining in the lid here, which is kind of nice, considering the fact that this is quite a delicate product. There's, looks like a sleeve around the display as well. So we'll take that out. And there you go. It is very, very thin, which is cool. And what I've read about this guy and what I can feel by myself right now, this actually feels like paper, which is quite insane actually. So what we've got going on, we got, um, not too much going on. There's an opening for the cable and that's about it, right? Put the sky aside. And like I said, we have extra nibs right here. We have a uh, USB-C uh, adapter. We have a cable. This end goes into the tablet. This end will go into your computer. And then we have the pen holder with space for extra nibs, I would think maybe in the back. Here's an instruction on how to change that out. And here is the pen itself. Very lightweight. What I like about it is no batteries, no charging, no nothing. So that's perfect. I've worked with other brands where the pen was really thick. I don't like that. So this for me is very nice, okay? So we'll put that in here. We got the cable going on here, the extra nibs. We have the booklet. Let's get the box out of the way. I assume there's nothing else in here, and there's not. Well done on the packaging, Q1. 
and uh, and again, I'm not even sure how Huan is pronounced. Is it Huan or Huan or doesn't matter. Uh, quick start guide. Now, I'm a guy, so I'm not going to read this unless I have to. And it looks uh, kind of straightforward, so let's hook this guy up and see what it can do. All right, guys. Well, hardware is set up. That was extremely easy. And this is basically the schematic. It is the small USB-C plug that goes into the side of um, the tablet on the left-hand side. The other end of the cable is a straightforward USB cable that you can put into your system. And if you want to use it on, let's say, your phone, you can use the adapter that they put in the box as well to uh, change your USB to USB-C so you can work directly on your phone. Now, before we move any further, um, although the tablet is already working, I want to download the latest driver. I want to make sure that everything is set up properly. Okay. So uh, I'll put a link below to where you can get the driver. Um, that said, I typed in uh, RTP 700 on the website and it gave me an overview and it said that the driver and the manual is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. I have a Windows machine. I want the latest driver. I don't care about the manual for now. So I'm going to download this guy. Now I already did, so it's uh, downloaded. You just uh, go to your search bar, you type in the name of the tablet app, and especially the first time, I would right click and run it as an administrator, okay? It's gonna ask, can I change things? Yeah, you can, great. And then it will open up this guy. Now let's jump over here first. So this is your uh, app slash setup slash driver thingy. And if you have a look at it, you have an overview to look at the pen, uh, the pen, look at the pen tablet and the store. Not gonna go to the store just yet. Let's have a look at the pen tablet first. Well, if you hover over one of these six keys or this bar and you click on it, you can change whatever the function is, right? So if I click on this, I can say, well, I want to have this respond as my keyboard key B or as my right mouse button. And I'm going to do that because that's what I use all the time. So I save that one. I can uh, program the others as well, uh, but that's fine. I have a touch key enabled, which is these. I have enabled touch uh, and I have sensitivity set to three. So that's all good. If I go to the working area, I can uh, determine what screen, because I got multiple, I want to work with. So I can work on that one, I can work on that one, I can choose the full area, uh, screen ratio, or even a custom area. Okay, cool. And I can also rotate it. Let's say my screen is set at 90 degrees because I like to work vertically, and a lot of people do that. I can do that as well, okay? So, uh, happy with that next up is the digital pen okay now we have um, programmable buttons right right there right there and right there and i set the top one to a uh, right mouse button and really cool if you for example want to change the brush size in photoshop or whatnot you do that okay so that's basically everything that needs to be set up here uh, one thing that is really important though is this um, Adobe says that they support Wacom and nothing but Wacom, uh, which is not true because this works perfectly fine in Photoshop, but I guess they contractually have to say that or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, in this uh, setup here, you can choose the settings uh, based on the application. Now, I want the settings to apply to every program on my system, but you can pick them individually uh, by clicking on add a program. And then you can go in here and choose whatever you want and set up uh, your settings per program. I got everything set to all programs. So we're gonna shut this down and let's open up Photoshop. All right, so we're in Photoshop. I created a new uh, file and we'll have a go with our pen. Okay, now I didn't set up pen pressure in uh, Photoshop specifically because I want to see whether my uh, settings, because I said all programs will automatically apply to Photoshop. So let's have a go. So 
this is a fairly thin line and I can already see that pressure is working, which is kind of cool. This is a bit harder. This is a bit thinner. Yeah, it's working. Now, a couple of things I want to test here. First is how responsive it is. Okay, so I'm just going to scribble a line here. See if there's any lagging and there is absolutely none. Now, pressure works, like I said, and if you want to change anything, you can go up to uh, windows and then brush settings, and then you can go into shape dynamics up here. And then you can go in here and change the size and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. But that all works for now. So pressure works and no lagging sensitivity all works. Cool. 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 Now for the big one, let's jump into ZBrush. And here we go. Okay. So let me just, um, let me just turn that off. And we're going to turn off light box and we're going to go up here and we're going to take a sphere and we're going to drag that out. And then we're going to hit edit and make poly mesh 3d. And there you go. And then let's uh, turn on our floor so we can see where it's at. And I want this to be, yeah, like this, we're going to hit X to turn on the symmetry. There you go. And let's see if this pressure is working right here. And it is. I'm gonna hit Control D a couple of times to uh, get some more geometry. And you can see that it's working perfect. I'm gonna go in here and see if I can change my brush size here as well. And I can. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not shifting around like so. I'm just gonna click on my uh, pen button and change the brush size. And there you have it. So again, super responsive. Now, I believe this unit is for sale for something in the range of around 90 bucks. Um, for a tablet of this quality with a pen that you don't have to mess with, no charging and all that, that fits on your phone, I think it's a very, very reasonable price. I like to compare these prices with other brands. And usually when you have a cheaper tablet, you can see it in the materials and in the way it's created. This uh, is absolutely a solid piece of kit, right? Good, good quality. Now, uh, I, again, I'm not paid to say that, um, but I have experience with Huon. I have one of their um, pen displays. So this is kind of what I expected, right? Anyway, I'll put a whole bunch of links below. Uh, definitely check it out. I don't want to talk hours about something as simple as a pen tablet, especially considering that this thing is pretty much uh, plug and play, right? So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll answer them if I can. If I cannot, I'll get you guys in contact with the uh, people at Huon and they will absolutely be able to help you, okay? Thanks for checking out the review uh, and see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.